A lot of times we talk about signal independently. How much signal do you need to do something? But the reality is signal is important, obviously, but what is really more important and a really better way to describe this is something called signal to noise ratio. Now, signal to noise ratio is fairly simple. We look at a signal versus an amount of noise, and we compare the two. Now, signal to noise ratio is in decibels, dB. So we could say there is a 20 dB difference between the signal and the noise. Maybe our, our uh, noise is negative 90 dBm, our signal is negative 70, so we have a 20 decibel difference. If we want to be technical about it, the term signal to noise ratio, SNR, is not always used correctly within the Wi-Fi industry. Um, it's okay the way we use it, it's generally accepted, but we should probably be as accurate as we can uh, during these videos. So there's another term that's not used as often called SINAR. We're emphasizing the uh, I here. That's signal to interference plus noise ratio. Noise is a general thing that exists all the time. Even in, you know, underground, there is noise. There's RF noise uh, outside, inside. You cannot actually stop it from occurring. So that is the general noise that we're talking about. Interference is an outside source. It is an actual something that is being transmitted, your cordless phone, your microwave oven, other Wi-Fi devices. That is the I part. That is the interference. So most of the time what people are talking about when they say, oh, what is your SNR or you need this SNR, technically what they're usually talking about is actually SINAR, signal to interference. Now it's not uh, my job here to try to get the whole industry to change the way they say things. I'm okay with it. Just understand that there is a difference between signal to noise and really signal to interference plus the noise that exists. Uh, so what do you do with this information? <clears throat> We've talked about how speed and signal are all interrelated and, and that's important but really it's signal versus this interference or signal versus the noise that exists. A good example of signal and noise is imagine light. Um, all communication needs more signal than noise. And the greater that differential, the better we can communicate. Uh, here's a good example. If you were going to send smoke signals, would you do it during the day or during the night? Well, smoke signals at night don't make difference because it's a black smoke on the dark night. The difference between the signal and the noise is not enough for us to see. What about a uh, flashing light if we're trying to flash SOS? You want to do that during the day or the night? Now you may be able to be seen during the day if the difference, the signal versus the noise, is enough. But your greater chances of being seen farther distance is at night. The signal, the light, is much higher than the noise outside. So signal to noise uh, gives us range and it gives us speed, uh, reliability in our communication. Those are all things that we want. So that's the real deal on signal to noise ratio. When we talk about speeds and all this awesome stuff, it's really what the signal is versus our interference and noise that exists in that particular environment.